Hello viewer, you might be wondering what you're looking at right now. Well, this is a game where you get to play as a hero named Tracer. Just like in the game, Tracers can help out the community. In this video, I'll explain what is a radioactive Tracer and how it can help. So, let's begin. To start off, what is a radioactive Tracer? Well, simply put, a radioactive Tracer is an unstable isotope that releases energy over time. This energy it releases can be tracked with a Geiger counter. When the radioactive tracers decay, they go through a process called postron emission. This is when a postron, or a particle that is opposite to an electron, finds an electron, which produces two gamma rays. And the thing with gamma radiation is that it doesn't affect the amount of protons or neutrons of the original isotope. Because of this, the isotope remains the same. So, here is a picture of what the formula is. As you can see, the element X remains the same with only um, some gamma radiation released. Oh. Well, while I'm dead, I can explain some common ex isotopes, which one of them is oxygen-15. This is normally used in PET scans, which I'll explain later. Oxygen-15 has 8 protons, 7 neutrons, and 8 electrons, and oxygen-15 has a short half-life of approximately 122.24 seconds. PET stands for Postron Emission Tomography. This is when a device scans body functions like blood flow with the use of radioactive tracers. These tracers have a short half-life, so they'll leave the body very quickly. The gamma radiation emitted from the radioactive tracers can be traced and mapped with a powerful computer. Thus, an image of the organ that is needed to be scanned can be seen. Now, now that we know what it is, it's time to figure out why radioactive tracers should be used. To find that out, I had to research multiple websites to find its uses. One of them, as mentioned before, is that it could be used to track and observe internal organs with a PET scan. Another use can be used with plants, with phosphorus-32 being able to uh, track how much phosphorus a uh, plant takes up. Another one is pe tagging pesticides with radioactive tracers like chlorine-36, which will allow biologists would to measure the amount of pesticides absorbed by crops as well as how much they are taken away by runoff water. And the th strange thing is, there are some people that say radioactive tracers are very dangerous, but this isn't true, because the radiation emitted by these radioactive tracers isn't enough to harm a normal person, but it could damage a pregnant woman's baby. Now, after much research, I've concluded that the radioactive tracers are not only safe, but they could be used in different ways outside of just medical. Therefore, the community should use to c continue to use them. With more research on radioactive tracers, scientists could f find more uses for radioactive tracers. Well, I hope you learned something from this video.